Oh, hi guys, welcome to Watkins Way. Today we're gonna make a cranberry sauce. And if you're wondering why I got all the turkeys on my shirt, not because I'm a turkey, but it's almost Thanksgiving. And you know, you can go to the store and buy the cranberry sauce. It comes in a can, it's the gelled type. But you know, most people make cranberry sauce once a year, maybe twice a year at Christmas time. So what I did, I went to the store, I got Ocean Spray cranberries in a bag. They're 12 ounce bags. I got two bags of them. And two bags will feed probably 10 or 12 people. Uh, if you wanna feed, if you just have family of four there, just use one bag. But the ingredients is gonna be a fourth cup of sugar, the juice of two oranges. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up. And I got my cooktop on, about medium, medium to high heat. But we just wanna, I didn't spill any, did I? But I'm just trying to get away. All right, got our cranberries in here. And we're just gonna use the juice of two oranges. I think I might have said limes earlier. I do that all the time. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna just cook these so they start cracking open a little bit. And I'm using, this is gonna turn out to be kind of equal parts, like this would probably be a fourth cup of juice and a fourth cup of sugar. And if you want it a little sweeter, you could add more sugar. If you want it more citrus taste, you could add less sugar or you can add more of the, you know, use three oranges instead of two. But this is a way to go. I mean, even if when you put the cranberry sauce out on the table and you got the turkey there and, you know, the green bean casserole and all that stuff, you know, if you guests come in, first thing they're gonna see is they're gonna see that cranberry sauce and they're gonna go, wow, you went to some trouble, you just didn't buy it in a can and put it out and slice it up. So it's gonna make you look good as the chef for Thanksgiving. So we got that in there, now we're gonna add some sugar in. All right, now, everybody that watches my videos, they know there's always one more ingredient that I haven't told you about yet, and that's wine. I love to cook with wine. And I went to the store the other day, and I got, this wine is called Gabriella Ashley. It's from the Napa Valley, it's Cabernet Sauvignon Reserve. I got a granddaughter named Gabriella. I got a daughter named Ashley, so I figured, what the hell? I got to drink wine, I might as well drink a family wine, huh? So anyway, while that's cooking, I'm gonna open some wine. Alright, it's been about, takes about 10 minutes to cook these cranberries. They should be, oh well, yeah, they're just about, all of them have just about popped. And I tell you what, when you make cranberry sauce, make it up a day ahead of time. It's actually better the next day anyway. And you know, when you're the guy in the kitchen on Thanksgiving, you got enough to do anyway. So I would suggest making the cranberries ahead of time. These are almost done. They're about one sip of wine away from being done. Put them in our bowl here. This is gonna feed about 10 or 12 people. And like I said, one bag will feed four to six people. We've got two bags. That looks pretty good. And what you wanna do is put it in the refrigerator. If you make it the day of Thanksgiving, put it in the refrigerator, let it cool down for at least two hours. But I would suggest make it a day ahead of time. So the only thing, now we're gonna use a little orange zest. And we had oranges, we squeezed the fresh orange juice in there, so we might as well not waste the zest. And that's our fresh cranberry sauce made from scratch the Watkins way, and like I said, cover this with a plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator for at least two hours, 
If you can, make it the day before. Okay, guys, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comments, good or bad. Let me know. Take care. Uh, and like I said, sometimes, I always like to cook with wine. Yeah, sometimes I add it to the food, but add it to me today. <laughs>